Well, hello there. Welcome again to our channel on everyday web and software tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily download and add assets to your Camtasia software. Now, as you all know, Camtasia is one of the best video editing softwares out there. And if you are looking to add cool effects, add transitions to your videos, I'm going to show you where you can easily find free assets that you can add to your Camtasia software. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to download assets for our Camtasia, first we need to open Camtasia as you can see here. Mine is open. Now when, when it opens, you need to go to the top hand right side here and click on the download icon you see just by the export button. So click on that, go to download more assets. Now this will open or take you to the TechSmith um, website, which is a company that builds Camtasia. Now, once you're on the website, you can search for any asset that you want, whether it's transitions or templates of titles. So for example, let's just say we want to, we want some template for our videos. So click on templates. Now here you can see a number of templates you can use for your, um, for your videos. If you hover your mouse on any of them, it will just start um, giving you a preview of how the, the template actually looks like. If, it's, if the preview doesn't come, then you need to click on it. And then the video will open up for you where you can see how the template looks like. If it's something that you'd want to use, then you just go ahead and do that. So as you can see, this one is for a course title. It shows you your title and then some other transitions in here. So let's just close this. Let's go back and um, we have some motion graphics assets in here too. So if you want to add, um, you know, some nice motion, uh, motions to your videos, you can also do that. Um, if you want to add the subscribe um, icons to your videos, you can also get that here. So there's a whole lot of um, assets that you can get here and add to your video. You can just preview them before you download. But for now, let's just head back. And I want to go for device frame. So I want to put some of my videos in a device frame. So let's click on device frame. Now when it opens, it shows you some of the devices we can put our videos in. And um, I would want to download this one, which is also a premium content. So if you don't want to get a premium content, you can easily uncheck the premium here and then click on apply so that it shows us some of the free assets that we can download too. So I would want to go for this um, um, device frame here. So there are two ways of getting it into your Camtasia software. You can either click on the first button that says send to Camtasia and this will send it, try and send it directly to your Camtasia app. So it says you can open Camtasia and the asset will be automatically installed onto your Camtasia software. But I normally don't want to go with this option. I rather want to download it manually and then install. So I'll show you how you can download it, which is the next button beside it. So just click on download file and then we'll start downloading onto your computer. So once our asset is downloaded, we just need to double click on it. Now it will show that is when you head back to our Camtasia app, it says that it's already imported. So I've already installed this asset. So just hit on OK. Now, how do we use this asset once it's downloaded and added to our Camtasia software? Now just head to visual effects. Now this is the device frame um, asset here. If you want to use it, what we need to do is just click and drag it onto the video that we want to placed in the device frame now as you can see it's nicely placed in there but this is not what we downloaded so to get what we downloaded just head over to the right hand section click on device frame click on type and go to manufacturing generic monitor so as you can see this is what we downloaded and we have it rightly placed in the device system um, device frame 
24 hours. So that, that is how we go about using the device frame. So there you have it. This is how you can easily add access to your Camtasia software and it can really save you a ton of time when you are editing videos using this software. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions that you have in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I wish you a happy editing in your next video. See ya!